Let's talk about moving a hive. Uh, commercial beekeepers may move a hive on pallets uh, with forklifts, uh, but a hobbyist with under 10 hives or maybe 20 hives at a time uh, moves hives differently. Uh, I, what I do is I use a hand truck with large wheels uh, to go over the terrain easily. I uh, used to be able to buy them at Harbor Freight, uh, but uh, hand trucks with large wheels work real well. Uh, I strap my bees together, the hive together. In warm weather, if it's above 60 or 65, I typically will use a moving screen on top of the equipment stack so the bees don't overheat. Uh, the bees will overheat for it for, for on you and they'll smother. Uh, so if it's above about 65, uh, use a moving screen. Uh, also, I typically use number eight hardware cloth cut to the entrance size and I fit it in the entrance like so. I keep the bees in the hive and then I'll strap them. Put a strap around the hive uh, with the moving screen on top. If it's cooler and blow about 65, uh, typically I just use my top cover. I just used a sheet of OSB, a Vantech OSB for a top cover on my hive. And I'll place it on top of the equipment stack uh, and move my bees that way. Uh, so moving bees. Uh, it's important to do it right. Uh, okay. There's two different methods of moving bees. If you're moving them uh, in the winter, you can move them fairly readily and you won't lose your field force. If you move them when the weather is warm, you either need to move your, your hive, uh, say uh, six inches to a foot at a time, or move it three to five miles. Uh, for three or four or five weeks and move it back so you don't lose your field force. Also, the stands, I use uh, cement blocks, three cement blocks with two landscape timbers on them. Uh, in the Africanized B days, uh, they recommended just single stands of cement blocks to keep vibration uh, transmittal down between beehives. But I found, in, at least in South Carolina, I can get away with a hive on either end of an 8-foot uh, landscape timber.